everyone i have a video which i filmed last year but i only put up a few months ago and it was my bookshelf organization and building my second shelf so i have these two bookshelves from yisk i think they're the just ling bookshelves but yeah i'll link that video here i think it's this corner of me building this shelf but actually currently what i did was move upstairs and i kind of just shoved my books into these shelves there's not really any organization going on I don't know if you can see a little pile here as well. So basically, I just have a bit too many books for the two shelves that I have. I will do a section of me panning around the room to show you what I'm doing. But I actually got from Yisk again these room dividers. I have a pack of eight and then a pack of four that I'm hoping to like stack on top of each other. And I'm going to place my TV. You can kind of see it there. I'm going to place my TV on top of it. But with that, I'm going to have lots of extra shelves. So I'm thinking of putting some extra books and just reorganizing my room, reorganizing all my books and hopefully like display them nicely. So yeah, I just thought in this video, I would show the process of doing that. I love watching videos of people organizing their bookshelves. So I thought I'd film one again. So yeah, this is the current state of affairs. I have all these, these are kind of the standard paperback sized books and I just have loads of extra of these. I did kind of quickly organize things by height but everything's just kind of shoved in they're just a bit too overstuffed really i have all my manga here i have graphic novels here with hardbacks i have hardbacks and paperbacks mixed here yeah i just have a series of unfortunate events in front of everything so yeah i just want to build the extra shelves and spread these out a little bit dual purpose as well is that it will be a tv stand because <laughs> currently my tv is just kind of sitting there i've got games and dvds my playstation so what i'm planning on doing is having that on top of these room dividers yeah i also have this and i don't know if i'll keep it i actually took this from downstairs i just have my <laughs> i don't know i just shoved things in there so i have like non-fiction here i have just random things i got from a crate i think and uh, then my Grishaverse books. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, there's no kind of real storage to it. So I really just want to organize it well. See, so yeah, if you pan out, I don't know to put the shelves here or to put them here. I don't know. And I'll definitely need to move the bookshelves because currently one is kind of jutting out in front of the other. So I can't actually grab those ones. So yeah, I really do have to do some rejigging of this bedroom. And yeah, I just want extra storage. Like, I think I want it to be kind of a display thing. Like, I might put my Death Note DVD with my Death Note manga. I might put my Beauty and the Beast DVD and things, my teacup and that together. I also, <laughs> I have a little BTS album collection here. So I'd like a shelf for them as well. So yeah, I think I want it to be kind of a display thing where I can display my DVDs, also books, have more extra space for books, maybe on haul some books while I'm at it, because <laughs> I definitely do have a few there that I don't need. But yeah, I think it's just going to be make my room a lot prettier. I just do think these are just too overstuffed, so I do just want to reorganize. So yeah, these are the shelves. So this is the four shelf, and then this one's the eight, and they are the is it Haldiger? <laughs> Room divider from Yisk. Again, so they're the same brand as my bookshelves. The eight came in two boxes, in case you're interested, and they are quite heavy, so I think I have to take things upstairs individually. But um, I also got a desk, but I won't do that in this video. So yeah, my idea is to build these two and put them on their side and then put the four on top of the eight to make it nice kind of a boxy shelf display TV stand. What I think I'll do is I'll start with the eight and see how large it is to see if I need the four to go on top of it. And if not, I can use it as like a standing up bookshelf, but I'll, yeah, I'm gonna start with this. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath <laughs> carrying these up the stairs, but this is all the parts. That's all the tools, I believe. And here's the instructions. So yeah, it does operate a little bit like Ikea where everything you have to build up from scratch.
lip sync. <laughs> that was, um, that was much harder, much, much harder than the book shows. Definitely, I would say it's definitely a two-man job. Um, there were some parts that were very, very difficult to do just by myself, but I did get it done. But yeah, just things didn't slot in as easily as you think they should. So there was a lot of hammering. Just bear in mind, if you do buy this, you do need some tools. You definitely need two screwdrivers, so the flat one, and then the kind of standard star-shaped one, and then you definitely need a hammer. But the stoppers at the bottom, I had a measuring tape as well. If you do want to mount it to the wall, I do think you need like a power drill and stuff, but I'm not going to mount it to the wall. I don't have any pets or kids that could knock it over. And then I don't live in a earthquake prone area, so it should be fine just standing by itself. So yeah, I'll just show a clip of the finished, the finished divider. Okay, so this is it. It's actually quite tall. I didn't think it'd be this tall. It does come with two backs. So you have one here and you have one down here where it has like a back to it where the rest are all exposed. Um, so that's quite a cool look. But yeah, so I have the four box one that I was planning to put on top and I think that's going to be very, very, very tall. So I'm just debating, but I do think I do want to do that. But I'm just not sure if that's going to be too high for my TV, but I'm going to see. And then I have decided I'll definitely put it here just because of how, how long it is. If I put it along this wall, there wouldn't be space for a shelf. And I'd have to put both my shelves facing this way and I don't really want to do that. So I definitely am going to put it over here. So I'll need to move all of these. But yeah, I do think that's enough for today. <laughs> um, I'm going to continue this on. Yeah, very happy. Just a lot harder than I thought it would be. But yeah, I'm really happy with the finished divider. So yeah, even though I don't have the four shelf divider on it yet, I do think I'll move around my furniture now and place this where it should be just so it's not in my way, because I don't think I'll make that today. <laughs> my energy has all gone into that and I'm not doing another one. <laughs> Okay, so I've put everything up. So I'm trying to debate, should I, because this is a lot longer or has a higher width. I was wondering if that looks okay. I really don't know. I do have a slight raised board here. So it makes this lean just ever so slightly that way. So it's not like totally flush against the divider. But I'm wondering, should I have that gap there and have the bookshelf like flushed against the wall or or should i have it like this where it's meeting the divider but then there's a big gap on my wall so i don't quite know obviously that looks better from this angle it's nice that that matches but from this angle it looks a bit strange that it's not up against the wall so i don't know also, I'm just thinking, I think having four more on top of this, like you're talking, it's going to be like that. And then if I put my TV on top there, it's going to be quite high, but I think it still will look good. In fairness, I'm more, I want storage more than <laughs> things looking good, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. And then that's hiding my pin banner now because it's so far. But yeah, I don't know. I took all my books out. Everything is on the floor. And then these are here. I'll work out what to do with them. But yeah, I'm not quite sure. I think I'll leave it like this for the time being because I think if I have the next divider up and I have that built and put that there and then I put my TV up and I have it maybe here, I might not notice that gap in the wall. It might not be so obvious. So yeah, I really like how deep these are. You can fit a lot in them. So that is good. And actually the plastic things that are on the bottom makes it very, very, very hard to move. So I think it's going to be like very sturdy. But yeah, that is part one done. <laughs> Hello, so I'm back for round two. I didn't have any time during the work week to build the second shelves, but we'll do it now. And also apologies, I'm recovering from a cold. So I, I'm definitely sounding a bit still locked up. 
but yeah my room is chaos <laughs> at the moment so i have everything still where i left them my books are still all over the floor i don't think this will take me as long though because it is four not eight hopefully we'll do that today i might roughly put my books back into the bookshelves but they might not be perfectly how i want them just so they're off the floor and I might spend another day like putting them nicely how I want them and setting up my TV and all that. So yeah, I'm going to get cracking. So yeah, this is still the current state of affairs. I don't know how I moved everything back over here, but I left some hardbacks there. I put some things on top just during the week. I just better take them all off again. I still have books all over here and some books over here. So yeah, I think I'm going to make it here this time, this corner of my room because it's just a bit too messy over there and I could not be bothered to move everything. Oh, the lighting is a little weird right under my Dulux window. <laughs> Round two. So I'm assuming this is going to be very, very similar. Just a little shorter. I'm just wondering, should I? No, I think building it on the ground first and then putting it on. I was half thinking of building it on the shelf, but I don't think that would be too safe, especially if I need to hammer anything. So no. I might need help, so I'd have to wait till my housemate gets home for me to put it up, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm assuming it'll be very similar instructions. Yeah, it's very similar stuff. I won't actually need these because this is going on top, but I might keep them just in case I ever move and display them differently. Ah, crap. <laughs> I start with piece number two, but piece number two is underneath all the other pieces. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what it's looking like. I really like it. I like that all the shelves that have the back are all kind of different. So one there, one there and one there. I put the little white stickers to cover the screws so it's really clean looking. But yeah, I really love it and it does flow quite well into my bookshelves. So I think what I'm going to do next actually is kind of the boring stuff like work out the wiring because my plug is like here. So I might need to pull it out and put my extension cords in and put my TV up and stuff. So I think I'll do things like that off camera. Maybe get my lights in order and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I'll leave organising the books for later on. I'm definitely going to take a break now. But I think I will work on the wiring and the TV and stuff first before I move on to the books. I just put my BTS albums away and I'm already so happy. There's so much space within these. Like they're very high and very deep. So they should hold a lot. But yeah, very happy with that. Actually, I never really like, ran through my idea. This could change as I put things away. But my idea is, I think I'll have this shelf for hardback books, like larger hardbacks. I think I would like this to be manga and like books that have awkward kind of sizing. Because I like to organise my books by height. I'm going to put my TV here, like right here. I'm going to angle it kind of this way. So I'm not going to show my bed because it's so messy. <laughs> But you can uh, watch TV then from my bed. I'm going to put my, probably my PlayStation next to it. And then I'm going to put like DVDs, games and stuff maybe here. I think I'll reserve these two for BTS. That's all my BTS albums. I do have some merch as well. So I might put that for BTS. And then I think I'll use the bottom ones for books. But I don't know how to do it. I think I might have them a bit more... Rather than neatly stacked, like more of a display. Like I might put all my, like maybe my death notes together. I might put all my Grishaverse books together. I might put all my maybe like series together. If I have any merch with them, I could put them next to it. So I think I'd like to make this a bit like a display while also having some function where this is just going to be straight books. But yeah, we will see 
we'll see how it goes. Is this a flattering angle? It probably is not. <laughs> so hello again. So again, it's been a full week later. <laughs> Good thing is I'm over my head cold, so my voice is clear again. But anyway, I'm finally, finally going to organize my books. What I learned from my previous bookshelf organization was that I like to put my books by height. I tried it by genre, didn't like it. So I will do it by height again. And then I'm gonna work out what's happening with these dividers. I'll do an overview of it now because I have put some things in there. But yeah, it is finally time to organize my books. So yeah, I did all of this off camera. So I set up my TV, my PlayStation's there. Something I'm not that happy with is that you can see the cords coming down in my extension cord. So I might rearrange where my games are, but that's PlayStation games. I have some DVDs here. I realize I have all the space too, if I want to put some crates here for storage. But right now I just have PlayStation things. I have a Chromecaster, so I need to set that up. So <laughs> I don't know what this is, but like these are little pots I got from a Luma crate, I think, with bookmarks. And I have one BTS DVD. And then these are BTS albums. So I think I'll, I will keep that free and I'll just move things around if I need to. So these I put here, I'm not sh quite sure if I'm going to keep these how they are. I might keep the Grishaverse one. So I basically have a come closer. <laughs> um, so I have the Six of Close Crooked Kingdom Collector's Edition. I have the King of Scars duology, the paperback Six of Close duology, and then the original Shadow and Bone trilogy. I really need to get the, I believe there's a new graphic novel and it's a prequel about the Darkling. And I think that's out already, so I need to get that and add it here. But yeah, I love Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdoms are my favourite books ever. So I think I like that I have a Grishaverse section here. I actually recently got the Death Note DVD collection. I got it in HMV when I was over in Edinburgh. And it wasn't that expensive, so I thought I'd pick it up because it's not on Netflix anymore. Then I have all six of the black editions of Death Note. It took me forever. To finish that collection um, and I actually haven't read them yet so I'm excited to. Um, I have seen the anime before but I thought it would be fun to kind of like read the manga and watch the DVD then. But yeah I don't know if I'll keep that. I don't know. I think I'll definitely keep the Grishaverse shelf but I don't know about this. <laughs> this I just don't know. I have these from, I don't know if anyone remembers the craze that these caused. The chip mugs from Primark. I was actually a supervisor in Primark at the time, so I saved one for myself and then I got this to match. This is actually a money bank and then this is actually supposed to be a functional mug, but I kind of kept it for display. Um, I can't remember what year that was. Was it like maybe 2016 or 17? But yeah, there was people queuing to get them. So I still have one <laughs> and I have the DVDs, but I don't know... Obviously, I don't have anything else Beauty and the Beast, so I'm not quite sure. My idea actually is I have this version of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and I think it's Harper Harper Design that make these, and there is a Beauty and the Beast edition, so I actually might buy that and then maybe maybe like display it that way. Obviously, the Beauty and the Beast <laughs> version. So I think that might be cute, but again, I'm not sure. It's just that I had these, so I'm like might as well. I've got the original and the Emma Watson version. Again, I got that from Primark or Pennies here in Ireland. <laughs> this is a strange one. These are fake books. So they're actually tin cases. Oh, yeah. These were an Owl Crate collection. And then this is, I think, the main character from the Darker Shade of Magic series. I have Darker Shade of Magic and the, the two sequels. I have the whole trilogy. I don't know where the other two are because they're here somewhere. I just don't know. It's because I have these that I think I'll do a little display, but I actually haven't read the series yet. Hopefully I like it. <laughs> if not, these can go. Maybe I'll sell these. I don't know. And then here actually I have, these are kind of like my Christian books and non-fiction. I have, a, I think, one non-fiction. I have a really pretty edition of a Bible. And then I have the For You series. If anyone's heard of them, they're very good. And I thought they'd be nice kind of out the front. Kind of like a commentary series, they're very good. So yeah, I've got these three spaces. So I'll see what I need them for. And then of course my two free bookshelves. I really have to, oh, I put my lights up as well. My little pink lights. I got them from Amazon, I think it's a, a good 10 years ago and they're still going strong. So yeah, I do think I'll put primarily hardbacks. I just kind of threw some manga there and that's my tripod. <laughs> I'll move all that. But I do think I'll put primarily hardbacks on these two shelves and then we'll see about paperbacks where I'm going to put them. I have to move this 
as well it's hidden behind okay i think what i'm going to do is just throw things up by height and then later on i'll kind of arrange them how i want them to be like in order but yeah that's what it's looking like at the moment Okay, this is what I have so far. I'm not totally happy with it, to be honest. Um, I do think I'm gonna rearrange again. So for this one, I have tall hardbacks and any books that I have that have nice braid edges, I thought I'd face them this way. So yeah, another tall hardback. Then these are shorter hardbacks. And I did the same thing again. They had a pretty sprayed edge. I would face it out this way. These, I'm going to get bookends just to divide these out. But basically these are all that have unusual sizing. So these are very, very large, uh, going into slightly, slightly smaller, slightly smaller again, all this size as well. These are the standard paperbacks. I have loads of these. So I have them kind of sitting at the front as well, which I don't like, I have to say. I suppose I'm realizing <laughs> I need another shelf, maybe put it here just for paperbacks because I have loads or I also need to do an unhaul. <laughs> big time. I do think it's time for me to do an unhaul. I definitely have too many. But yeah, these I didn't move around too much. I kept the top one the same. First of first I kept, the Death Note I kept. I put my manga here. This, these are fairly new to me. I do actually want to do a manga haul video. So that's mangas in there. The Darker Shade of Magic series with the merch. These are in paperbacks again with unusual sizing. They aren't, they're slightly taller than like a standard and then I've got some mass-produced paperbacks here too because they're very small. I don't have a lot, but these are graphic novels. And then non-fiction stayed the same and I put a series of unfortunate events here. Actually, these these are actually a very small book. They're smaller than a standard paperback, but they're larger than a mass-produced paperback. I need to get a bookend for that too because it just fell over. <laughs> they were my favourite book series growing up. So I thought it'd be nice to have a shelf for them by themselves but yeah overall i'm very happy i'm not crazy about this but there's nothing i can do when i own too many books <laughs> and i do really like the hardback shelf and there is space for them yeah this i need to fix a little bit better and yeah i think i will play around here and see what the best set about like but yeah this will definitely do me for now i think until i get some more shelves and yeah i'm quite happy with how it looks i made another little change just so i was a little bit happier I'm much happier with this. So I just separated taller hardbacks with like just the slightly shorter ones. These are all the same size. They're my mass produced. These are all the same size. And I actually took the ones that were here and put them here next to the TV. So I think that will do. My paperbacks are still way too overstuffed, but there's not much I can do about it until I get more shelves. And I put my little, until I decide what to put there, I put my Beauty and the Beast back. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. I think I'm happy. I think it's the best it can be currently. Yeah, I actually quite like that they're there. I think it fills that gap. I definitely want to decorate the walls here too. Yeah, really happy with how this looks and I feel like this is as neat as I'm going to get it currently. Not much I can do until I get more shelves. I also definitely need more bookends. I only have, I got this set from Owl Crate. And then I have one little wooden one there keeping a series of unfortunate events up. I definitely need more because I do think some of these are going to fall over. The hardbacks seem to be okay. They seem to stand all right. So yeah, definitely for now, I am happy. New shelf definitely needs to happen and I will put it here. I think it'll look good there. I do have space. I need to move these, but I do have space for one. So I think I will order that sometime in the future. But for right now, this is good. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I do think I really, really need to do an unhaul and get rid of lots of books. Also, I think I probably will get a new shelf at some point. Probably not anytime soon, but probably at some point. But yeah, I'm quite happy. I am by no means an expert at building furniture, so please don't follow what I did. I think follow the instructions, but they're great pieces of furniture, I have to say, for not a lot of money. So yeah, there'll be an unhaul coming, definitely. But yeah, that was my bookshelf organisation. 
as I mentioned throughout this video, I have another bookshop organization video and I'll link that in the description. I'll also link all my socials in the description as well. If you'd like to subscribe, I do anything bookish related on this channel. Hauls, wrap ups, reading vlogs, everything like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.